Good afternoon. I am Dr. Laura Hetzlinger, and I am here to take you on an educational journey into the confusing world of teenage sexuality. Adolescence can be a confusing time, and your new feelings of attraction can make things even tougher. You may have come across those who refer to themselves as heterosexuals. They claim to represent 90% of the population. But what is heterosexuality? And why does it have such sway and influence over our young adults? These questions are perfectly natural, and this film will attempt to answer them. But the real questions are, heterosexuality, is it normal? Is it healthy? And is it for you? And what's your relationship with your mother? Mm, why does that matter? Well, what do you think caused your heterosexuality? Well, when I was younger, I saw a lot of images of heterosexuality. I'm a heterosexual. Good morning, dads. Good morning. Good morning. Now remember to come straight home after school. Okay. Um, speaking of straight, um, y you guys know that I'm a hetero... Well, you guys know that I'm a, a, a heterosexual, right? No. No, we did not. What are you going to wear to the bar? I think you should wear that one over there. This one? Yeah. Because it's, cause it's royal and... When will you grow up and stop playing with such girly toys? I also found this record you might like. The nerve! Do you really think that's necessary? And in public! I have children over there! Really, it's like you're trying to recruit. They don't need to be exposed to that kind of behavior. Can you believe that? I can't even take my kids to a public park! Kids, are you okay? Oh, it's alright. Well, there you have it. These images may have been disturbing. They may have even shocked you. But they are the straight facts. The question is, how will you, the budding citizens of our future, face these challenges? I just feel like it's so obvious. Of course, there, there's a huge amount of uh, queer and bisexual youth that commit suicide are on the streets. Where have we ever made a safe place for them on society? Well, the school grounds aren't safe. Junior highs aren't safe. High schools aren't safe. I was a week away from graduating in Edmonton, Alberta um, High School with extra credits, um, honor roll, all of those things, and I went to school in drag one day and I got expelled from the school system and I wasn't allowed to graduate. And that set me back about five years. And I just recently got my GED and that was the most oppressive sort of like in an institution setting that I've ever had, besides kids, but kids can be cruel sometimes. Um, I forgot my notebook once in the library and I, the next day I went to get it and I opened it up and there was all kinds of stuff written all over it. And it was the worst 
worst, worst time ever, ever. And they wrote you f***ing lesbian, and they, they drew, like, uh, penises all over, and you don't belong here, and sinner, stuff like that. I, I moved to Prince Albert, Saskatchewan for, like, a year, and I fell in love with a girl there. We, we had to keep it a secret. Um, in that town where they already made comments of like wanting to burn us at the stake. And then going to prom, she graduated and, and they all do the grand march or whatever where they take pictures and she, she didn't want to do it because she was afraid that people would spit on us. Um, I got bashed and had a bunch of my ribs broken and I got kicks. I got kicked in the back a couple times, um, and they like actually broke my flesh with their boots. Do you, Do you know, know what it's, what it's like, like living, living in fear? fear? Walking, Walking alone? alone? Waiting for people to jump out at any moment? Hey, Candy! In the hallway? Down the street? I'll get you after school. You scare me. Dang it! And hurt me. I know where you Your word's live. filled with violence. Candy! After all, I'm just a faggot. I'm surprised how much you seem to hate me and think you know me. I never get space to question my sexuality. Maybe I am a fag. So what? You hold hands in the hallway. You dance at grad. You kiss in the yard. It's our space. And I'm tired of you dictating what is what, who can be with who, and what names I'll be called. I have the right to exist, to be free, to be safe, just like you. The reason that people come out and the reason people endure the oppression is because um, our personal relationships with each other are so important. Like, what do we get out of the life that we live other than um, the moment, the, like the moments that we enjoy with the people that are closest to us, and the learning that we get from our life. And in order to get beyond a certain level with somebody, you just have to start being honest about a whole number of things. And if you're queer or not, that's part of it. The message that I get is that yes, women do sleep with other women, but it's really not that serious. You know, like. It's just the flings they have because, you know, we all know women are sexy and we all want to sleep with women and they do it together. But really, when it, when it comes to a serious relationship, a woman can't have a serious relationship unless it's with a man.